I'm gonna be staying the night here. I was gonna do a whole day of being homeless, but you know, I woke up at like 3 p.m. So it's over, man. I, can't, I gotta stay here. But anyway, so they told me to come back at 7. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get something to eat real quick because I don't think they're giving out food. I right, guess so. Just bought some pizza. I've uh, been homeless before, but uh, I was too nervous to stay in one of these shelters, man. These people are like so addicted to drugs. Like, I'm always afraid of getting robbed or something like that. But you know what I mean? Uh, you can't really judge these people. Like, they're in really desperate times. So, you know, it's times like this where you're like really you know down on your luck where like you know it makes you appreciate everything that you have you know you always got to be thankful for what you have there's a lot of people out there that don't have it as good as you so it should be a good experience anyway so i'm gonna eat this pizza and i'll talk to you guys when i get in the shelter peace I guess so in my room I got a two man bedroom I was pretty lucky there's two man bedrooms there's four man there's six man and there's eight man so there's not too many two bedroom but I got here right at like seven so you know I got it right away so it's pretty sweet but anyway this is the room it's pretty ghetto there's no door pretty small room but you know I can't complain you know it's better than the street so yeah I took the top bunk of course yeah so you can come and go as you please, you just gotta be back here by 3 in the morning. Uh, if you don't, they'll kick you out. Um, but yeah, so I don't know who my roommate is or if I'm gonna get, even get one, but hopefully he's not like crazy or nothing, but <laughs> we'll see when he gets here. What's up guys, so you can actually just get outside onto the roof from my freaking bedroom. Like obviously <laughs> people do drugs out there, like for sure. So I'm gonna take you guys there, it's dark, so I'm gonna get my flashlight out of my phone. So. Hopefully it can be seen, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool out there, I already took a look, but let's go. So what they give you is a pillow and a blanket. That's pretty much it, guys, and a little towel. So you can take a shower. There's a bathroom down the road, or down the hall. <laughs> Reading the rules here, it says number eight, fighting is unacceptable. Clients subject to timeout for participating in fights. Like, what does timeout even mean? Like, what are you, six? And then on number nine, it says, if client refuses to get off the floor or porch or leave the premise, a timeout could be issued. Like, what the fuck's a timeout? Like, why would anybody care about a timeout? Like, what is it? Like, what the fuck is timeout? Like, I had a timeout when I was like six years old. Like, what is this, man? No idea what that means. All right, guys, so just chilling out here in the smoke pit at the shelter. Yeah, just uh, went around the city. I'm freaking bored. I was just walking around. I saw like a guy almost get arrested by the police. He was just like throwing a tantrum on the street. But yeah, just smoking a cigar. Ain't nothing else to do right now. I'm freaking bored to tell you the truth. I still don't have a roommate. Still haven't even heard from anybody, really, so I decided to come out here, see if I can meet some people. Everybody's just chilling. Everybody's pretty peaceful. They just uh, need somewhere to go, all right? Half the people here don't even look like they're homeless. Like, people look like everyday people here, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like out here. Pretty cool spot. You know what I mean? Everything's right around here. Like, we're downtown, like, right downtown. Parliament's just around the corner. Yeah, guys, anyways, I'm gonna get to bed soon. Hopefully my roommate's there, and uh, I'll talk to you then. Hi, guys, so I'm just chilling here. Met a new guy here named Wayne. He's my friend here, and uh, yeah, he's been staying here for about a week. What's up, Wayne? So, yeah, what's man, your what's, what's your up? story? Uh, my story, man, you know, I went through some uh, personal issues, man, drugs and uh, alcoholism and all that stuff. And I've been searching for help, man, and uh, our own mission, man, got me really set up. Yeah. And uh, they've been doing really great, man, to me and here, man. Yeah, man. And, uh, yeah, he's been staying here for about a week. What's up, Wayne? So yeah, what's man, your what's, what's your story? Uh, my story, man, you know, 
I went through some uh, personal issues, man, drugs and uh, alcoholism and all that stuff. And I've been searching for help, man, and uh, our own mission, man, got me really set up. Yeah. And uh, they've been doing really great, man, to me here, man. Yeah, man. It's good. And I appreciate what they're doing to me, man. Yeah, man. It's a good, it's a good spot. Like they hook you up with food. I mean, they give you deodorant, razors, and stuff that really help you get on your feet. And you know, this place is a blessing. So, yeah, Wayne, it's good to meet you, bro. No problem, man. Awesome, man. Good stay, good, you, man. stay good. Stay good. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, man. Peace, guys. You know, living in this uh, life, man, has nothing to do with yourself, man. You know, being a human being. Being in community, being in uh, society, we, as such as we're living here in Canada, has nothing to do with you. You're not the center of the earth. You know? We're supposed to be dependent on each other. Yeah. You know? Taking care of each other. And when you have the ability to do it, you take care of other people too. Exactly. It's about giving back, taking and giving back at the same time. Exactly. Know? Life doesn't evolve around you, man. You're not the king, you're not the queen of the earth, you know. There's uh, there's a times of ups and downs, but when you get up from all these uh, problems in your life, think about community that, you know, give you all these opportunities to get back to to, to reality and uh, settle your life. You know? Exactly. It's so crazy that right down the street, there's a bunch of homeless people and then there's a buddy in a Porsche right there. So, the world's pretty messed up. I was thinking a lot about what Wayne said. He said um, he used to walk by this place and look down on everybody. But like, that wasn't even too long ago. And now he's here, you know what I mean? And he said, it's a real eye opener. So, you know, don't ever look down on people because you could be in a spot like this, you're only like one bad thing away from being here. Everybody has their own demons. Everybody needs help sometimes. So you gotta really help people in need, you know, because it could be you. You never know what the future holds for you guys. But anyways, guys, I'm going to bed. So, see you in the morning. Just woke up, it's like nine o'clock in the morning now. Um, about to leave. Uh, yeah, man, I had the worst sleep in my life. Like, back is like killing me now. I'm freaking tired, I'm about to get some coffee or something, so. About to leave. Especially Wayne, he has a such a positive outlook in life, you know, even though he has such a hard time. So guys, I get to go back home today. A lot of people don't even have a house to go to. So if you're thankful for what you have in life, make sure to give this video a like, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.